Welcome back. This is part six of creating a game in Phaser from scratch. In the last part, we looked at adding custom fonts from Google Fonts. You see them right here, the seven and the zero. So if you want to know how to do that, be sure to check out that video. In this video, we're gonna look at adding a game background to our game. So Pong has a line and we'll just add like a circle here to denote the center of the screen. So let's do that. We will use a new scene. So we'll make a new class. We'll call it game background. So new class or new file game background .js. Here we are going to import phaser from phaser like we've done before and then create a class called game background. It will extend phaser.scene. Great. So uh, scenes have preload or can have preload and they can have create. So to make a line, we will do this dot add dot, let's say there is a line. Let's see, dot line. We're gonna put it in the middle, 400, 250, let's see new line so probably x 400 y 0 that's x 1 x 2 is going to be 400 500 for y 2 stroke color white so ff 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 alpha 1 let's see so there's that now let's uh, import our game background. So we're going to go back to main.js from scenes game background. So like before we have to register our scene with the scene plugin. We're going to call this, give it a key, so game dash background and then the game background class. Okay, so we are going to start the we're going to run the game background scene in the game in the game scene so this dot scene dot run and we're going to say game background let's see what this does nothing no errors game background this dot add line Let's do uh, let's see. Okay, that is being created. The line must be somewhere else. Let's try that. Okay. So that's zero zero. Let's refer to the docs. So scene, add, gonna add a line. Horizontal position of the, this game object in the world, okay. The horizontal of the start of the line. The vertical position of the start of the line. So let's see, what do we got? Let's just try some numbers to get a better feel for what's actually going on here. Okay. So let's just put this at ten ten. Which is here. Let's understand what this is doing. Now let's let's put this with is eight hundred so four hundred two fifty is in the middle. That is of course not the middle, maybe the origin. So let's try. It is definitely still not the middle. Let's just go to zero and then ten ten. What do we got? Okay. So 
let's try this. So if I make this, I'm going to make this zero. Let's better visualize this. So this is the x and y. This is the x1, y1. That's the color. Let's just look at it this way. So this y value. This guy down 100. So that's 10. Let's make it 50. So it's growing this way. This way. Which means. What does that do? Alright, that's what. So here we put the line in the middle, right here. And it's growing this way from the center. So that's how these numbers work out. So if we do 400, if what I think is happening is correct, yeah, it'll shrink together, which may be because we did this. Let's see. No, this doesn't seem to matter. So we don't need it. So it's growing out this way. So we know the screen is 500, so we'll do that. There we go. So there is our line. Now we're going to add a circle to the middle, so sort of like a hockey field. So let's go circle. This will be 400, 250 radius. The ball is 10, so bigger than that. You know, 50, five times bigger. Fill zero x f f f f f f. That's white. Alpha one. Let's see what that looks like. That's about the right size. But, let's see. Do we want it to be, what if, what if we do nothing? No. How do we use just a stroke? F circle. May have to do an arc. This dot add arc. Mm. Mm -hmm. so what is it return it returns an arc? Is there a set? Stroke style. Okay, let's try that. Let's try stroke style. 400, 250, radius 50, fill color will be nothing. I want a fill color, and then set stroke style. Where we got line width, let's say five, color white. Alpha one. Let's see what we got. That's better. So now line stroke. We're gonna do let's make that also five and also white. So let's just say white color. White color. White color. Here. 
line does not respond to stroke stop. Red arc. Change the width of a line. Fill alpha height line width. Ah, right. I guess the line would not be stroked. All right. Dot set line width. Beautiful. Well, I just say both. Both five. What do we get? Too big. Too small. Probably we need two and a half. That looks better. All right, so there's that. Now actually we'll set this game by game background back to black. So we don't need this. See, that looks more like pong. Just make this ball. Yes, all right. Look at that. So here we have we have the game background. It looks more like a real game. Now we have score on it. So one thing it does look like is the ball is perhaps passing under. I guess you really can't tell with white, but we know. So we're just going to send that scene backwards. Scene dot send to back game background. So you really can't tell the difference if you change the color of the ball of wood. But that's how we prefer it. So that is the game background. So be sure to come back for part seven, where we will fix up some of the code that we've already written.